Real quick before the video starts, don't take a shot every time I say Tetris in this video. Your liver will explode and it will have to be replaced with one of the many screenshots of Pepto Liver plush dolls that I have saved on this totally inconspicuous folder that sits righteously on my desktop. Okay, let's go. God, I love Tetris. For real, it, it's like the game I spent the most amount of time playing in the middle of class during high school. Yeah, it really goes to show where I am now. Sup, homies. So a lot of people don't really know this, but Tetris.com is chill as hell. Chill as hell, how does that even make sense? What I mean to say is it's very overlooked. Like most of my friends spend a ton of time playing Tetris and we all love the gameplay, but how many of us are a little tired of the basic gameplay we've known for the past 30 years? So that's why they decided to mix it up a little bit, you know, give Tetris some flair, possibly of the Donny Osmond kind. So they made this version of Tetris where there's a bunch of effects that can completely change the outcome of the entire game based on what power-ups you grab. It's called Tetris Mindbender, or as I like to call it, Tetris Slime Blender. So the way the Mindbender works is that you have to clear lines with a specific block on it, and that special block activates an ability. It can move the blocks to one side of the screen, separate them, combine them. Hell, there's even an ability that flips the entire section that you've made upside down just to screw with you. But not only that, there's these blocks that cause hazards like making the screen blurry and erasing some singular blocks on the bottom, forcing you to optimize. Now, as a long-time Tetris connoisseur, I like a good challenge. Also because I recently got into Dark Souls and Magic the Gathering, which already puts me on a couple lists, but I really like games that take a formula that you think you know well and just say, Dear God, God, what have we created? I have played the crap out of Tetris.com, but not just because it's good, but because I got bored in a lot of my high school classes and pretended I was typing, when in reality, I was taking a leaderboard spot on my school's Chromebook. Stay in school, kids. Get your work done so you don't have to worry about it later and play more Tetris. I think my highest score on Mindbender was like 600,000, and then it was like 750k for regular Tetris, which ended up getting beaten once I discovered that you can make teaspoon factories in regular Tetris. Like, you can't do this shit in Mindbender, the screen just flips you off. Pun entirely intended. But goddamn, there is nothing like the looming threat at the top of the screen. The main villain of Tetris, the mustache-twirling, candy-stealing, orphanage-burning twist villain of the entire Tetris franchise, is intentional game design. It is heart-stopping when you are at level 25 and at the bottom of the screen, then you realize that the game's about to end. But you just keep going because you're so close to topping your personal best, but oh god, the blocks just keep falling, and the music just keeps getting more and more intense, until you finally hit that last block. You beat your record, and to the victor come the spoils. I put my initials in as ass. No other game in the world can give me this feeling. Mindbender's such a cool game. Although the soundtrack can get on my nerves after a while. I mean, even regular Tetris's remix slaps. Like, why did Mindbender have to pitch shift everything? Coming from someone who literally sees notes that aren't real in front of his face sometimes, it gets annoying. At least I had my sound off most of the time when I was playing. By the way guys, if you like the Tetris remix, I made it specifically for this video. I like to make my videos entertaining without having to deal with a ton of copyright stuff, so if you like the video and strongly dislike large media companies going after small content creators, consider leaving me a thumbs up. You don't have to, but it's much appreciated. Let's get back to insanity. I grew up playing all kinds of Tetris games. Tetris Party Deluxe on the Wii, Puyo Puyo Tetris. I even played the original NES and Game Boy Tetris games. So to see this game quite literally take the concept of Tetris and say, see I like this, here's erosion. Puyo Puyo Tetris and Tetris Party had power-ups. Hell, I think even a ton of the earlier Tetris games, like the ones on the SNES even did that kind of stuff. But I really think Tetris Mindbender is something that everyone should experience. All the crazy power-ups are super fun for a single-player Tetris experience. Which, by the way, I had to completely change the way that I was used to playing Tetris because I spent hours playing Puyo Puyo on my Switch and I was really accustomed to the controls. But, uh, yeah, Tetris Mindbender is probably better than any of the games that EA has made in the past five years, with the exception of Pickle Blast. So I'd say if you're watching this on your computer, why not open up a new tab and start playing? It's free to play and you can play it pretty much anywhere. Just don't playing in class like I did, please. I'll give you an apple cider donut. And that's pretty much my thoughts on Tetris Mindbender. It's a really good Tetris experience if you hate school, or if you like school, or if you like EDM. I guess that's about all for today. I'll catch you guys later. Take care.